This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Hey, yo, what's up? We are now at the cleavage and we're gonna do it, guys. We will do zero mile test with the classic Ionic. <laughs> I'm actually doing an OnlyFans run, but then I will also combine it with a zero mile test for the cars or whether if it uh, if it suits the, the situation. So I've driven it kind of low now, it's like 15%. And I can show you that this one, well, it's not too relevant for the test, but it has some modification. For example, um, the Laser Elite Linear 18 LED bar. This car belongs to my friend uh, Paul Skodjevog. So, uh, and other than that, yeah, we have slightly different tires. Oh, no, the tires are standard. Michelin Primacy, e, no, you call E Primacy. Uh, for you guys who care, we have a little bit of curb rush there. 225, 45, 17. Wait, is, are, those, are those slightly wider than the original ones? And some socks. And I, when I, I wonder if he also painted the calipers red. <laughs> this is like the, the, the performance Ionic. <laughs> but okay, so what is relevant is that he has a tow hitch. Wow, this guy, this guy's been modifying his Ionic. But look here. Voila. I have the EcoFlow. It's sitting at 98%. Doesn't matter too much. I have solar panel, I have a fan. Hmm, what the heck am I gonna use that one for? I even have a 12 volt booster. <laughs> Ionic is known for having low 12 volt batteries. So, and I brought, I brought some uh, charging cable and some goodies over here and warning triangle. So now what we need to do is check out the stats inside the car. So I have the windows open here because it will then naturally ventilate inside because it's supposed to be 26 degrees outside, right? We're down to 15%. So now we just have to drive it all the way to zero until it stops. And we then do the exact same thing as the other cars we test. Oh, okay. Huh. We just got the low battery warning. This is the first warning. I think you can even turn off this if you don't want it. So uh, at 13%, it will warn you about low battery. It says 30, 30 kilometer range left. Uh, yeah, so but we'll keep driving. 30 kilometer, that's still uh, quite far. So by the way, you see on the other side here, that's the, the empty road I'll be using. Whereas this one here, of course, is the main road, which is quite busy now, uh, three in the afternoon. But the side road here is really, really empty, even now, because everyone uses the main road here. There is no toll road or anything here, so just hammer on this one, of course. And the side road is only for locals who live there, pretty much. Okay, this is just half cycle now, half loop, and you know the percentage drops so fast in the classic Ionic because we have a small battery and because the state of charge scale is not linear, uh, it's amp hour based, and then the voltage drops fast towards the end. So actually the turtle mode is supposed to come at 5%, which means that I better bail out soon. There is an exit here in one kilometer and we have uphill even. <gasps> I don't want to get any crawling uh, stuff over here. Come on, come on, get over there, get over there. We're gonna get over. <laughs> we have to get off this motorway. It's a hundred zone over the motorway. We want to do the turtle mode uh, over on the small roads. 5%. Still no turtle mode. Okay. You know what? The turtle mode. Oh, no, 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 no. oh shit, there's turtle mode. Oh, 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 oh shit. I just reached the exit. Oh. Gulho Rava, oh damn! Charge immediately, power limited. Oh, now we have power limit. Wait, wait, how is the power? Okay, okay, no, you know what? We still have decent power. We can still go uphill doing 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, it's not like the, the crawling mode. I, I don't know what you say. Okay, we have turtle mode and we have snail mode. The ES8 I tried had snail mode. It was so slow, like five kilowatt. That's snail mode. Turtle mode is more like Okay, 50 kilowatt or whatever we have. Let's see, okay, the, the, the throttle has become kind of sluggish. We are down to 4%. Wait, how do you see, it? this is kind of annoying. I want to see the drive info here. 235 kilometers. Oh, and then it disappears again. That's kind of annoying. It keeps bugging me about the thing. Okay, okay, whatever. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait, once this one reaches I mean, once we get to 0%, we need to reset the trip meter here. Okay, another warning at 3%, low EV battery warning. Now we have no indicated range left. 
but um, do we reach that here? No, I think we should go until we have 0%, but the, the car might stop at 0%. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit scary. What I was I, I was told from the live stream is that you can drive roughly six kilometers past zero. Okay, we can check here. 238.5. Okay, so it should be 243 or something. Okay, th this comes up every time now. Uh, whatever, but whatever. I'll show you here that you see even 330 uh, in the afternoon. This road here is really, really empty. That's why I chose this uh, road because it's so empty and nice uh, and nice and quiet. And also this stretcher is the best because it's far away from the highway there, so it's not too noisy. So now we just have to drive a little bit back and forth here before we run totally out. Huh, interesting. You see, climate is running. So even when we have 2%, then the car allows you to run um, AC. But okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Yeah, just wanna save. But at least the car can run AC if you want to. So now the car is supposed to die soon, 2%, <laughs> because this is a tiny battery. So we're just waiting for it then, wait for it, wait for it. 1%, uh-oh, uh-oh, 1%. Okay, let me see now. I will always try to end up here. How many, how many kilometers now? 241.4. Okay, it's supposed to die in about, what was that? Oh, oh it just, every time I change the, yeah. Still 1%, okay. I, sh I also want to know what happens uh, when the car dies. I heard that Ionic owners, they the car dies right around 0%, so you don't want to go too deep with a classic Ionic. And I guess if it's winter and the battery is cold and it's worse, it's actually quite good to do it now uh, when it's 26 degrees outside. Whoa, I feel like this is it. I mean, we can still go kind of slow. Yeah, so, you know, um, I hooked up Avilo because I did a degradation test, but I should have hooked up car scanner. Car scanner would show me power limit, but I can really feel. I mean, you as a driver, you will feel that uh, the throttle response is way more sluggish now. And of course, when you get close to 1%, you also get the idea that, okay, this is the end. So I'm trying to learn by doing this video to find out when the car shuts down. And then you can also get the feel or if in case you're in the same situation, you will also know roughly when you can expect the car to totally shut down or at least stop driving more. So yeah, this is it, man. It's about to just go bust now. Really, we, we have, da, 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 da. Low, oh shit, that's it, that's it, da, 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 da. Ah, here, what? Okay, that's, that's kind of bad. Um, I didn't expect to go here. Like freaking here. Dunk! Oh shit! Park engaged! <gasps> we stop here! Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, let's get ready. Okay, I managed to place myself so that we are in the middle. You see, over there we have a nice uh, stretch and also behind me. So we are right in the middle of the stretch. So this is the safest place for both directions to spot me. But, but you see here, this is kind of scary with this car. 12 volt is being discharged and also the owner he installed this uh, meter you see we, we have 11.7 volt on the 12 volt so i disconnected anything that pulls 12 volt so let's get started we need to start charging the car before the 12 volt gets too low and now it's time for the cheesy thumbnail um i'm not sure how i'm supposed to act today okay I, usually my phone right nine this is a classic ionic no it's not a fat ionic okay i'm running out of juice I miscalculated. I thought I had 280 kilometers of NEDC range and it's only 248. So yeah, I have to get over to the fast charger. All right, thank you, Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so here's the setup for today. We are plugged in the Shuko uh, plug here. You see, we have, uh, so far we pull one point, uh, almost 200 watt hour. We charge for uh, five, almost six minutes. And then EcoFlow is at 80. Wow, it's kind of busy. 87%, 31 degrees. I wonder if this fan will help because I have an extra fan from Claude Sulson. I used to try to cool down the unit, but will it help? I don't know, man. Uh, 
it will usually hit 50 degrees Celsius or 47 or something once I'm done. But I don't think I need to discharge this battery to zero this time because Ionic is really efficient. So, and I also have a live stream going on, so I charge that one on USB-C. And I also plug, plugged in the solar. I'm not sure, uh, it's not helping much. You see, I'm getting 70, 70 watts. Ideally, I need to angle the solar against the sun. But I know that I won't stay here too long with this car. So, and the problem is that if you angle it the, the right way here, uh, it's a bit windy today. So I'm afraid, that, I, I, I'm afraid that it might actually blow off or blow a little bit. Uh, and then it could go into the road. So that's why I just have it on the side of the road, which is safer. Well, interesting. It says zero percent, but it's being charged. Remains like 14 hours. <laughs> okay, so we should get some percent here eventually, right? Wait, uh, how long did we have to charge to get 1%? Hmm. Okay, but uh, I want to check something here, just for fun. If you fire up this one now, what does, ah, now the, yes, 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 now the DC is being charged. Oh, okay, we are safe because I don't want any 12 volt problems. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, it's still at 0%, but it's, it's charging with certain mode. Wait. It doesn't see, we don't see anything here. We have to, da, 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 yeah, yeah. So it's charging, but in the classic Ionic, you don't see how many uh, kilowatt you are receiving. So it just says that it's charging and how long it takes left. All right, we've been charging for a little while. We have 2% now. And you see, I set up OBD adapter here, since we are done with Avilo test. And here, and I can show you now that um, we now have 2.5% uh, on the display and then 5% on BMS. Hmm. So the car, when the car stops at 0%, it still had probably 2-3% uh, left. You see, this car is getting 1.7 kilowatt into the battery. Uh, it's pulling uh, only 2 kilowatt for some reason, and not 2.3, 2.2 like it's Tesla. Tesla was getting uh, 2 kilowatt into the battery. Here we have the, the battery DC voltage, current, okay, OBD is nice. Uh, the temperature in the back, and here also, I'm not sure it seems to not be updating. But maybe once we start driving, it might update. Yeah, this one will give me a little warning <laughs> in case I need to pull over again and charge. But I will make sure that we have enough juice. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure how many percent I need, but we'll see. Uh, I calculated that uh, to get over to the charger, which is over there somewhere, I need three kilometers. And if I average, let's say with some uphills, if I average 150 watt hour per kilometer, then I need 450 watt hour, which means that uh, maybe just to be sure, I need to, with some losses, the cable needs to pass through, let's say, one kilowatt hour. And right now, the cable has received 850. Yeah, so after 25 minutes of charging. So we could actually just go soon. But I might stay here a little bit longer, just so I don't have to, you know, stop and set up again and then go for it. All right, we are at 5%, 7 on BMS. Yeah, you see, this one is still the same, <laughs> but okay, so with 5%, we should have plenty now to get over to the charger, let's hope that. And then we could look at EcoFlow that uh, we had 8% and we're about to fully discharge it. So the fan, I put the extra fan, didn't, didn't seem to help at all. <laughs> we are still at 48 degrees Celsius and uh, the EcoFlow is once again rapid gating with only 2 kilowatt output this time, not 2.3 uh, like in the Tesla. Okay, let's pack and leave. Oh yeah, we can drive. Okay, let me see. Up with the windows. I'm actually going to drive a little bit back so I can uh, get over. The car now claims 12 kilometers of range. I need to maneuver myself back. Um, we have 93 kilowatt of power limit, but 6%, that's plenty. I mean, uh, turtle mode is not even here even. Uh, I could just run uh, out or I can run the regular AC now. It's just plenty of juice. This car is so efficient. So, um, yeah. So at least in this test, yeah, you charge enough. Uh, I put in uh, 1.2 uh, something kilowatt hour into the battery and uh, the car can drive uh, just fine. No problemo. Let's see. Let me check, by the way, towards the end. Maybe towards the end, the tur yeah, you know what? The turtle mode might occur. 
once we hit 5% again. <laughs> but I know now that I'm slightly more uh, confident now that once we see turtle mode, then uh, we still have a lot to go. So in case, oh, I'm going a little bit too, too schnell here. Okay, okay, after, after. Wait, have I, I haven't taken up the, all the windows. No, no, they're all up. Okay, good, good, good. So this is actually what I com recommend you guys to do. In case you run out of juice, uh, first of all, I don't recommend you to run out of juice. What you should do is A, B, C, always be charging. Or if you think you don't have enough, then just bail out. You, you saw how much time I need. Oh, okay, that's just lane, lane warning. But you saw that I needed one hour to recover. And that's because I even had the correct equipment. I'm, I'm, I'm trained for this situation. So what you should do is uh, take five extra minutes or 10 extra minutes, take a pee break, top up at a high power charger, or even a 50 kilowatt charger, because it's not worth it trying to risk it. Because if you run out of juice with the wrong car, then you might be stuck there. Oh, shit. Uh, throttle mode kicked in. Okay, that was a bit scary because uh, the, the throttle response totally changed now when throttle mode kicks in. But you see, I can still maintain speed Ish. Yeah, I can still go 50 kilometers per hour uphill and I'm outputting, uh, uh, how much is this? Wow, it's actually not that much. Oh shit, uh, 50, 10, 15 kilowatt, 16, 20, ki uh, 20 kilowatt, plenty. Now, I'm so confident that I can just go on the main road here even. Uh, but if this was the Neo, then I was restricted to only five kilowatt. But let me, let me check here. So in turtle mode, now that we have the data here, yeah, 25 kilowatt. Okay, that is plenty, man. <laughs> that is way better than five kilowatt in Neo ES8. And the ES8 was also a lot heavier. So, which means that turtle mode in this car, at least on these kind of roads, uh, the car reacts and feels quite normal. It's like, it's, it's as fast as a fossil car, pretty much. But okay, you have the warning, like, Turtle mode is here, you know. You have 5% left or 4.5%. <laughs> you better find a place to plug in. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to check, by the way. <gasps> uh, there might be ladders down. Nah. Oh, and also Ionic. Yeah. Uh, Ionic can only take uh, 50, no, 60 kilowatt roughly. So even if I share the, the Delta charger, then no problem. Uh, I, I still... Uh, charge at the maximum speed on the Ionic. So this was easy. Yeah, so Ionic. Okay, let me just plug in first. Okay, let me see. We, are, we have to see what kind of speed we get. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys want to see that shit. Okay, is the charge port is the left side with the right side or the right side with the wrong side. Okay, um, I should plug in like this, this, and then buck, 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 buck. Yeah, no for Rambo. Uh, yeah, the car performed perfectly no crazy limp mode or whatever oh yeah we're charging now but only at 49 kilowatt and you see here 140 amp roughly uh, it, the the ionic is supposed to take 175 amp max that's what someone in the live stream was saying so i'm not sure what's up with this uh why we are not charging at maximum speed could it be because the battery is too hot is it replicating uh this is kind of weird. So um, yeah, it should be 65 uh, kilowatts. So um, I actually don't know why, why we're not charging at maximum speed, but uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm sitting down in the back of the car because outside is too noisy. Uh, I have a little bit of fan noise from the EcoFlow. I'm charging it up now on 12 volt. So yes, uh, the conclusion is that this car is one of the better ones if you run out of juice. You just have to know that it stops right around 0%. <laughs> um, but okay, so um, it may, I mean, it did the right things most of the time. It gave you some final warning. And uh, the, the one good thing is that the, the power limit was gradual. So you could feel that you were getting less and less power and that would give you an indication that you're getting, you're getting closer and closer to the end. So that is good, just like Tesla also, you have the gradual power limit thing. But there you can also see it on the screen. Here you couldn't see it on the screen. That's actually a small minus. Uh, on the i4, you could also see it on the screen that it was crawling down. But then for example, for um, 
a fat e-tron, uh, it was at 25 percent for the longest time, and then suddenly, boom, zero. But of course, you could see on the kilometers that the kilometers were getting low, and then, yeah. So um, I think for for the Ionic, the way it handles the situation, it's in the middle there. It's the best would be Tesla, and then the second best would be uh, uh, the i4. What I didn't like about this one is that. Once you try to maneuver it when when the shutdown sequence was in progress, then suddenly the car went into the park But then I knew I found out a trick that you can put it in neutral But some people might kind of get a little bit caught off guard with a with a thing This is the only one that uh, Suddenly just puts the car in park when you still have low speed You should at least just roll into neutral until you decide to stop by yourself in neutral and then it goes into the park or something like that but still Good car and the plus with this one is of course that it's very efficient so it means that you don't need that much energy to recover and once you recover you still get f f like maybe not full power but pretty high power but then eventually in uh, even in turtle mode you can still have good power and maneuver yourself in a normal way. So yes I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always thank you for watching and talk to you later.